Sir. Yeah, my Arkul Mesh, I mean, not able to connect to the server so, to RDP. Um, seems that is a network issue, Ankam. Okay, if the network is okay. very poor, then in that case, uh, it will be difficult to connect to the server. Okay, please make sure you have at least changed the network. Try changing the network, restart the machines. Why? Because one, first time it was successfully established, right? Uh, uh, yes. Once it was successfully established, means there is no issue since I'm, I'm expecting might be a network issue. Okay, as you're using mobile hotspot, sometimes okay, it will create issues to connect to the servers. But, but when you come to Azure, uh, yeah, yeah, see, Azure are high configuration machines. Okay? okay, Azure machines are high configuration machines, at least when compared to this 2 GB machine. It's, it's like high config machine. In this case, your VM also there in your laptop only. But in Azure case, the VM is managed from Microsoft network. So minimum yes, network is enough for connecting to the Azure VMs, okay? But uh, for uh, Oracle VMs, you should have proper internet and all. And it it can't be disconnect. Uh, that, that's why what I thought means, sir. Uh, today morning, uh, I will try once again, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, and if uh, possible, go to any Wi Fi if you have any Wi Fi and all. Okay, if there is a chance, okay. if you have any broadband connection, just go to that location and check okay. it there. Okay, if not, you can happily work with Azure VMs, right? No issues. Finally, we have to connect to the server RDP. You have to know how to connect to the server RDP. That is our goal. Yeah, yeah that is our goal. Okay. Yes, mm. okay. So, guys, any questions, any doubts, any issues, any challenges? Thanks, sir. No problem, sir. Sir, I have a doubt. Yes, yes, please. Uh, no, it's not a good doubt. Like, uh, I have my own machine on server in my laptop, right? So if I mm -hmm. give my IP address to someone else, can they connect remotely? No, they cannot connect. They cannot connect. They cannot connect. Oh, By default, okay. see, for if it is Azure VM, yesterday, just to show you, we have disabled all the network settings. Okay. So in such situation, you can give your IP address. Still, they have to know your username and password. Even though they can ping your machine, they have to know your mm -hmm. username and password. If you share your username and password, they can connect. For Azure VMs that were created yesterday, but you can enable the okay. security again. We have disabled the security. So that's why anyone can, uh, anyone from the world can, if they know the IP address, can connect to your server. Okay. The Oracle VMs, okay. the one which you are using in your uh, machine, the, the Oracle VMs, even though they know your IP address, they can't even touch your machine also. Okay. Whereas in the Azure, they can touch your machine, but whereas in the Oracle VM, they cannot even touch the machine also. Okay. Sir, in organization, uh, we are using that uh, public IP address, sir, in Azure. Uh, uh, by default, we'll have private IP addresses. We'll, we'll use private IP addresses only, Ankam. Okay, so for that, we, we uh, Windows network team will enable network communications through private IP address. So we'll use a private IP address only. Public IP address and, we don't uh, use. And also, sir, what you've done uh, yesterday for Azure account, uh, creating VMs and... Uh, Yes, uh, yes, yes. Give, giving resources group all these things yes so yes. As, as a sql server admin we are no, not no, no. we don't do, we don't do, we don't do. at the end of the day uh, you, your sql your window you will get your windows server only from azure admin or windows admin okay so you, you don't need to provide any other details like what is resource group and all just for practice yesterday we gave a lot of things we have selected the region we have selected the os image right only just for the practice in the organization Everything is handy. Simply, they will give you the private IP address 
this is your ip address that you have to install the sql server you will take the ip address and even you don't know whether that is the oracle vm on prem vm or azure vm simply you will get the ip address or server name you will connect to the server name remotely you will you will start installing your sql server that's it we don't select any of the regions we don't select any of the rgs resource groups we don't select any disks we don't select any network securities okay everything will be done by your azure admin or else your particular team sir at that time how can you know sir are we are working in uh... Uh, I mean, uh, I Azure. Uh, that Azure you don't know. If it, is, like, if it is infrastructure, if it is infrastructure, or uh, see in the Azure, we have different different services. Yes, PaaS, SaaS, okay. Infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, okay. So infrastructure as a service means we are going to use their infrastructure, right? So in such situation, it's difficult whether the machine is Azure VM or your Oracle VM or on-prem VM. okay but organizations will follow some standard policies in naming the servers so might be by using the server name you can find out okay this is a cloud server this is a uh, on prem server okay so by using the server name there is a notation there is a standard notation if it is a cloud servers they will include uh, some some shortcut in the server name if it is a oracle on prem or else on prem servers they will the, the server name is somewhat different when compared to the particular cloud servers okay so by using the server name you can identify whether it is a azure vm or on prem vm azure or aws whatever it is whether it is a cloud vm or on prem vm okay so for uh, if if they follow a different strategy in naming the servers okay if they don't follow any different strategy yes, then in in that case you cannot uh, okay it's difficult whether this machine is a azure vm or on prem vm Okay. Any sir, other questions? You, you, sir, uh, using credit card, uh, uh, we have only twenty eight days, right, sir? Yes. So yes, after twenty eight right. days, uh, can we go for uh, uh, same account with uh, other credit card? No, no, no. You have to create a fresh account with a different uh, credit yes, card or yes. same. You can use card. sometimes it will accept the same credit card. Sometimes it won't accept the same credit card. Yeah. So if it accepts it, no issues. If not, then again you have to go for a new credit card. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Yes. Any other questions, guys? Please. Just a minute. No questions. That's it. So, how many of you completed creating okay Azure VM Sandal? Please raise your hands. I completed, sir. Uh, I I, I installed the data entry model also in Azure. Okay, okay, good. Please raise your hands, guys. You will get reward points. Uh, Rama, have you created a VM also in the Azure? Yes, sir. Okay, good, good. So that's it. Only three people: Madhavi, Sachita, Sanjeev. Of course, Zankam. Okay. Let me take the snap of this part. Spends. I will give you the reward points for you guys. Namakriya as well. Done. Okay. Thank you. And let me share my. You can see my screen, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Done. Sir. Done, done, done. So once you just log into your portal, right? Go to your virtual machines. There you can see whatever VMs you have created. In my case, I have created four VMs. Okay. So this is my uh, uh, individual. Like uh, for practice, I have created this VM, guys. Okay. For practice, I have created this VM. Go to that particular VM. Okay. So here, what we can do, I have to start the VM, guys. To connect to the server, first, what I have to do. first i have to start the vm then only i can connect to the server see here if you see the public ip address you don't get any public ip address until you start the machine okay P private ip address you can see but until you start the machine 
you don't get any public IP address. Okay. So once you start the machine, then you will get the public IP address. Then by using the public IP address, you can connect to the server remotely. Okay. So let me start the machine. It will take uh, just one minute. It won't take much time. So I'm going to show you how to install SQL Server in the server, Windows Server. So forget about it, whether that Windows Server is Azure VM or Oracle VM, forget about it. The process is same, okay? In case you want to see like how to install SQL Server in the Oracle VM, process is same. You can proceed as usual, like whatever steps I am doing, simply you have to, okay, proceed with the same steps and all. So today we'll discuss installing SQL Server in the VM guys, okay? So once I started the machine, you can see here, now I can see the IP address, okay? Copy this IP address. Now open MSTSC. I'm connecting to the server remotely guys. Paste it, control V, enter, and it will ask you the username and password. What is the username guys? Mm, computer name. One minute, okay. So the username is different. Let me take the username. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where I can see the username, guys. I don't have any idea where we can see the username. Is it available on the profile, sir? The right side of the top 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 I mean, uh, free SQL, uh, uh, SQL DB at gmail.com. No, 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 that is not the one. Shanmuk IT. Yeah, this not is this the one. machine name. This is computer name. Shanmuk IT. This is computer name, guys. Just ten minute. Forgot about the username. CPUs we have. I have already connected up to you now. Just change it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Done. Okay. So let me click yes. Right. I just connected to my VM. Now what I have to do guys. So I want to install SQL Server, right? So in case if I want to install SQL Server, what is the main prerequisite? As you know, .NET Framework. .NET right? Framework. So without .NET Framework, I cannot install SQL Server. So .NET Framework, the process of installing .NET Framework is same guys, right? So how to install .NET Framework? Can anyone tell me? Add, 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 add roles and features, sir. Add roles and features. Okay, so I have to use the add roles and features option. Okay, just a minute, I'll show you. Right, 
so go to add roles and features and once you go to add roles and features next 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 here in the feature section you have features. to select dot net framework 3.5 okay you have to choose this option next next and install no need to choose the path and all guys that is the only difference between your on prem vm and your particular azure vm so after go to next after go to next usually you have to choose an alternate source path okay for oracle vms but in this case in our case simply select this dot net framework again go to next simply click on install no need to choose any path okay by default it will take it from the particular os operating system and also no need to change any path no need to give any path simply select the dot net framework 3.5 and go to next and then go to install guys okay that's it that is how we are going to install dot net framework in the azure vms okay right next what we should have sql server software right so let me copy paste the link what i can do let me copy paste the link from the control shift down yeah let me minimize the server so where is my server 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 software links let me open the server software links yes okay so if you are using guys this is somewhat different i have to copy the software sql server software to my vm now i have to i want to install sql server right so what i have to do i have to copy the sql server software okay to that particular vm agree what we will do in the organization guys in the organization we will have a shared path this shared path is going to be accessible from all the servers that you are supporting in the organization you will have a shared location or shared path in that shared location your sql softwares what your team the db or manager will do they will create a shared location and they will give this uh, the access to the shared location all the servers guys so what you have to do just ask them what is the shared location that we are going to use to copy the softwares or scripts whatever it might be they will give you the shared location just copy the shared location go to that server in which server you want to okay copy the software go to that server open run paste the shared location hit enter you will get that folder copy the software from that folder this is how in the real time we are going to copy the software guys whereas in our practice okay it's little bit different okay so i want to install sql server 2017 right copy this link sql server 2017 link and go to your vm azure vm okay if it is oracle it is different guys open internet explorer and go to the browser just paste that link guys paste that link select ask me later okay just paste that link whatever link we have copied okay paste it and hit enter now immediately you will get a pop up okay you want me to download sql server 2017 yes click on this download icon guys okay so it's saying the files cannot be guys people sometimes people don't read this message sir i am getting the error while copy pasting what error you are getting sir it is showing google drive can't scan the files for viruses sir that is not the error that is just a notification okay clearly you can see here download anyway in the last batch almost 5 to 6 people they called me sir 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 i am unable to download the software it's it's not an error guys it's just a notification that's why read it properly in case if you are facing any issues as a dba you should have patience 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 okay read it properly what it is showing on your screen okay it's not an error it's just a notification people will say i cannot so download the software it is to throwing this error okay you can clearly see if you want to still download i cannot scan this files but if you want to still download go to download anyway option so it is it is giving that notification that's it okay now you can see open save click on save option guys it will be downloaded it will be very quick guys it will be very quick okay see you can see 1.5 gb file will be downloaded in less than 10 10 or 15 seconds this is how we are going to copy the software to the azure vm guys okay there is another process also what if i am using my oracle vm okay how to copy the software in that situation if you have to connect to the server remotely guys this is very important for oracle vms we have people practicing on azure vms we have people practicing on oracle vm so how to copy the software if it is azure vm copy paste the link in the internet explorer hit enter download anyway select option 
and that particular software can be downloaded that is way of downloading in the azure vms for oracle vms connect to the server remotely then only you can copy the software connect to the server remotely if you don't connect to the server remotely you cannot copy the software guys okay let me show you that as well okay otherwise you'll confuse okay let me show you that as well let me minimize the server let me start the machine okay oracle virtual box manager for oracle vm you can directly copy paste from your local machine to the azure vm uh, i'm sorry your oracle vm from your local laptop to oracle vm you can directly right click copy right click paste that's it but if you don't connect to the server remotely copy paste don't work you have to connect to the server remotely then only the copy paste will work let me start this machine first of all okay so let it start no issues so we have copy paste we have downloaded the software in our uh, what we can say azure vm so this is my software control c what i can do i am going to paste it in my another folder in the c drive i'll paste it in one folder okay uh, sql softwares why because don't keep it in the downloads guys next time if you restart your machine all the downloads will be cleared if uh, if azure vm don't keep anything in the downloads folder uh, when you restart the machine okay your downloads folder will be deleted or then in the next day the downloads folders will be cleared guys okay so this is the software this is we are installing sql server 2017 developer edition guys this is the software this is iso image right click select the mount option guys select the mount option okay now you can see the setup screen and select this setup okay this is the setup file we have to open this file with run as admin mode again last time also we have discussed if it is an application if the file type is application always tries to open with a run as admin mode it's very important guys don't double click on this setup file simply right click choose run as administrator guys in the organization also if it is a setup file or application file try to open that application file as run as admin mode guys okay this is the installation center we can call this as an installation center if you want to see all the options we can see under installation center see if you want to install sql server you can install sql server using installation center if you want to upgrade sql server you can upgrade sql server using installation center if you want to install cluster installations you can use this installation center if you want to see the hardware and software requirements you can use this installation center everything almost all everything you can see here guys okay so once you open setup file this installation center will open i want to see sir clearly i want to see what are the hardware and software requirements go to this option it will open if you have internet connection it will open internet explorer and it will show you what are the hardware and software components to install sql server 2017 so like this we have a lot of options are there okay we don't use all these options we'll use only some of the options guys so i want to install right go to installation phase guys this is your installation phase now i can see new sql server standalone installations are add features to the existing installation so i have to select this option i want to install new sql server right so i have to choose this option guys so new sql server standalone installation or in case if any installation is already done if any instance instance means sql server one instance means one sql server software copy okay agree guys one instance means one sql server software copy we can call it as a one sql instance select this option guys can i install multiple instances parallelly at a time can i install is it possible you can see the screen and you can answer this question guys no sir no Why? Oh, why? Can anyone tell me why? No, sir, we can't install. So only one time we can do it. Sir. Yeah, agree, agree. Why? What is the reason? Because of the installation tab is. Uh, It's not enabled. Very good. Okay. Is so once there? yes, once you just uh, once you just select this option, see here. the option the first option is disabled guys until you close this window again you cannot you cannot see this option okay it will be disabled simply so that's why parallelly you cannot install the sql server right and go to next next these are some checks guys it will check whether your machine is okay 
good or not whether your machine is suitable to install the sql server or not okay keep it as it is don't do anything if you want you can see the details okay you can see whatever checks are running okay otherwise see guys here you can see passed 3 failed 0 warning 1 skipped 0 guys here passed is acceptable warning is acceptable but in case if any check is failed we have four checks here okay three are in green green means passed one is in warning okay you can see warning symbol right so warning is also acceptable passed is also acceptable but in these four checks if one check is failed you cannot proceed further you cannot see this next button it will be grayed out like this like this the back button is grayed out right i cannot select the back button if any of the check is failed any one check is also failed in these four checks if any one check is failed i cannot proceed further guys all checks has to be either successfully passed or warning is also fine but if one check is failed i cannot proceed to install means it will check whether dotnet framework and all is installed whether whether we have proper connections or not everything it will it will verify guys go to next okay so it is asking okay which which installation you want i want to perform a new installation guys choose this first option perform a new sql server 2017 installation in this section you can see if any instance is already installed guys for you people you can see it's a blank box for you why because this is a fresh machine so that's why you don't see any installed instances in my case i have already installed one instance guys that's why okay uh what we can see here uh, i can see one instance here guys okay so make sure you choose perform a new sql installation okay go to next what we can do let me show you one thing on let me let me do it on a fresh machine guys on that machine i have already installed let me connect to this machine This is Oracle VM. This is Oracle VM, on-prem VM. This is okay. This is an on-prem VM. Let me check the IP address, and your IP address will be changed every time, like your Azure VM. So every time go to the server, log into <coughs> the server directly and check the IP address first. Okay, please mute it. Please mute it. Okay, so the IP address is 192.168.1.12. Okay, let me open MSTSC. Uh, let me open MSTSC outside. Sometimes, okay when you open run it will open inside your virtual machine guys so make sure okay it's opening outside in your local laptop so i'm connecting to this oracle vm guys this is my oracle vm right click yes i'll show you on this why because i have already installed one instance on that machine so you might not see some of the options that's why you will miss some options so that's why I'm, i just started installing in my okay uh, what we can say uh, oracle vm but but the process is same but the process is same right so now i want to copy the software right so let's try to copy the software guys first i, I gave you the links you will download the software once you downloaded the software what you are going to do guys you are going to copy the software from your local laptop to the uh, oracle vm directly right click copy right click paste let me copy paste it first of all mm, my case where it was stored do, 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 sql data Lenovo, okay, media, 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 right, SQL 2017, copy it, right click, copy, if you want to see, I'll show you, copy, go to your server, Oracle VM, okay, so what you can do, I'm going to open my C drive in this Oracle VM, not Azure VM, guys, okay, Azure VM we have already downloaded, I'm going to create a new folder, SQL software, I'm going to paste it here. Control V or you can use right click paste guys. This is how we are going to copy the software in the Oracle VM. Just right click copy, right click paste or control C from your local laptop, control V guys. That's it. So it will take some time. Okay. And make sure you have proper network connection. It is showing 11 minutes. In the meantime, if network is down, the copy will be failed guys. Okay, if network is disconnected or if network is down, then the copy will be failed. Listen carefully guys, from today onwards, whatever I'm doing, 
this 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 activity you have to do it in your organization okay installation of sql service or responsibility till yesterday uh, windows team or network team or or other teams are going to take care of it once the machine is ready windows team said hey the machine is ready you can use for it okay so once the machine is ready then we can start installing sql server guys so from today onwards this is a like regular activities for us this is how we are going to do in the organization guys you might have a, you you might ask sir daily will do the installation daily we don't do whenever there is a need okay then only we are going to install the sql server daily we don't install the sql server might be hardly monthly once or twice you will get a chance to install the sql server if it is a normal organization if it is a big organization there might be a chance weekly once or twice you have to install the sql server depends upon the projects they are getting guys depends upon the projects they are getting if they are getting good projects good work then they will ask you to install the sql server so if it is a big company if it is a big project a weekly once or twice you can you you will get a chance to install sql server if it is a small company if it is a product based company might be hardly monthly once or or every two months once or sometimes three months once you will get a chance to install the sql server guys sir excuse me no problem tell me sir will we practice uh, this sql server uh, in azure or uh, oracle virtual box sir your wish anything is fine can't we practice in direct or laptop you can practice that is also fine <laughs> that is also fine but uh, real time that's not look like a real time scenario okay so we we are Sorry, here yeah. to learn real time right so you can still copy the download the software you can still download the software and you can practice in your local laptop itself guys directly you can practice for local laptop no need to install dot net framework also okay in your local laptop directly you can open set up file download the software sql software ah, come on it was disconnected just a minute guys just one minute please see here once it was disconnected you will get the transfer speed error just a minute let's try to figure out this one Just one minute. Just one. Issue okay with my network. It is down for every five minutes. So, sir, you can uh, uh, go to Oracle Virtual Box. Add the storage. and uh, that also i can do that also i can do okay. i can add the storage also so let's figure it out yes, like yes. for today okay why because i'm having some network issues so let yes, me let yes. me let me go for alternate path okay so guys if you remember okay earlier we have attached the software right to os software right once we have attached the os software uh, let me reconnect guys please use the same link please use the same link to reconnect it is showing less than 1 minute the meeting going